One of the main signs of a recession is a slowdown in hiring by large corporations, which could have a trickle down effect on unemployment. Apple is the latest major tech company to take a more cautious approach to reduce hiring and spending. All the more evidence that even Silicon Valley darlings are preparing for a recession in the coming months. The recent news on Apple's cautious stance matches that of its tech peers. Amazon, Google, and Microsoft, just to name a few, have all taken steps to decelerate spending. But as of now, most of the biggest tech companies, with the exception of Microsoft, aren't talking about eliminating jobs just yet. They're just reducing the rate of hiring. Microsoft said last week that it was eliminating some positions as part of a reorganization. The reduction affects less than 1% of its 180,000 person workforce. And the company still expects to end the year with an increased headcount overall. Last month, Tesla laid off hundreds of workers and closed a California facility devoted to its autopilot self-driving technology. Elon Musk said that layoffs would be necessary in an increasingly shaky economic environment. And according to his estimation, about 10% of salaried employees would lose their jobs over the next three months. Although the hiring could ramp up again next year to end 2023 on a higher note. Now, Facebook has also cut spending and slowed hiring for some senior level positions. In April, the company announced plans to decrease expenses by $3 billion this year. The goal is to refocus Meta's product team on core priorities like the metaverse and the TikTok competitor Reels. Even Amazon, which staffed up during the pandemic so it could handle a surge in e-commerce spending is now left with overstaffed warehouses. In many cases, Amazon is subleasing warehouse space and has paused development of facilities meant for office workers. You see that big tech is tightening up on its spending. That's a trend we should continue to monitor. Also, many companies are looking to temper ambitious growth plans without the need for major overhaul or layoffs. But overall, if you look at the statistics, US job growth has installed. Payroll increased 372,000 in June, beating the 265,000 estimate, with manufacturing jobs providing the biggest boost. Meanwhile, the unemployment rate remains steady at 3.6% for fourth straight month. If the effects of the downsizing has not been revealed in the numbers, it does not mean that job growth is not slowing down. Fears of a more serious slowdown in the world's largest economy are rising despite the impressive job gains. Consumer confidence has plunged to record lows, in part because inflation is so high and the stock market has lost trillions of dollars of value in this year alone. Analysts have pointed to technology industry layoffs, falling commodity prices, real-time measures of economic performance that show output shrinking as a proof that the United States is facing its second downturn in three years. Even the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta estimated that the economy shrank by 1.2% in the second quarter, which would technically put the United States in a recession by one standard definition since the first quarter also saw a contraction. But GDP is only one of many indicators and other economic indicators such as unemployment, consumer spending, and real income should determine if this recession is confirmed over the next few months. Right now, we're in the midst of earnings season. And during earnings season, there's always the question of whether demand from consumers has softened. Apple warned in April that the latest quarter would be challenging due to ongoing supply chain issues. And this upcoming quarter, companies could be facing a whole new set of challenges. Just to give you an idea of the impact, these issues are expected to erase as much as $8 billion from Apple's sales in this quarter. That's $8 billion with a capital B. The actions of these Silicon Valley stalwarts are a reminder that with uncertainty comes caution and preparation. As investors, we can't be overly optimistic or overly pessimistic. We have to be even keeled. We have to pay attention to everything, including what these tech heavyweights 
are telling us about their spending plans and outlook. So the real takeaway from all the information and data gathered is to take precautionary steps. Being careful isn't the same as being fearful. Take necessary safety measures now so when the opportunity comes knocking on your door, you still have enough ammo left in the chamber. I hope you enjoyed this market update. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. And as always, the outcome is income. Let's get that money. Until next time, I'm out.